So literally, I was out and about this morning and I'm looking pretty disheveled because I just woke up and everything. But I actually just got a new lens and that lens would actually be Sigma um, True Non-Zoom 20mm 1.8 aperture lens. So basically, I got this lens because, um, you know, it was out there and I decided to buy it. It wasn't too cheap actually. But basically, the aperture of like the small number that's 1.8, as opposed to the number of like 4 on my current lens right here, is going to create a much crazier sort of um, background look. So right now, as you can see, like the whole background isn't too flushed out. It's actually pretty in focus as well. But as soon as I swap onto the Sigma lens, so literally right now, this is the Sigma lens. And um, basically what you can see is actually the background is looking way flushed out. So it creates a lot of focus on like, the face and everything so it creates a really well this effect is actually called the bokeh effect and yeah so basically that's the only main reason i bought this lens was to actually create a much more um cinematic experience i guess in terms of uh, creating my gym videos and all that so i'm pretty proud pretty happy to have bought this but you know i hope it comes into use for the next few maybe year or so so literally like this whole lens now the one that i was using before the 18 to 55 millimeter zoom it's probably going to be made redundant because in gym I've got to actually like sort of set up my tripod usually anyway so yeah like not really that useful anymore like right now you can see how I can change the depth of focus really well like that's how shallow it is so it's impressive as creates a lot of bokeh effect like all around here but even though that is focused so right now I'm actually going to get back to actually studying so I've got nothing really much else to do except to you know get back to work and all that there's a lot of um, I've got an exam on Friday, but I've also got a um, job interview on Tuesday. And if that job interview goes out really well, I actually might not be returning to Melbourne for too long because I don't think I can be able to, you know, like stay out in Melbourne while I've got a job in Brisbane just to be chilling and etc. etc. So, yeah, right there, I've still got my other camera equipment and all that as the tripod that Brandon borrows me. Right there is the um, little gimbal that Raymond gave me. like every now and then I make like a really smooth shot but worst part about this is actually you can only use your phone for it so I need to slap my phone in there the phone's only got like a what 2.2 aperture with a really tiny sensor so at night it's just just as bad but I'm hoping that when I'm going to gym tonight with Clinton etc this whole lens will actually do really well because you know 1.8 aperture that's going to get you a lot of light into the sensor which should get me pretty good um, video without getting too much noise so back to my usual practice, I've got the wraps and all that and I've also got my chicken right there and basically I'm just going to be, I've actually started eating bacon again actually so yeah, I used to stop eating bacon because um, oh yeah, I used to start to cover everything but yeah, I used to stop eating bacon because um, I was really scared of like the whole sodium thing like how it got my face really chubby and all that and I am like a stegler for getting sodium into my face like that's the first place it goes into so yeah I used to stop eating bacon but right now I've cut down to a pretty lean level that where if I ate a bit of sodium and I got a bit puffy in my face it would not mind whatsoever because you know it would just be from lean to a bit less lean as opposed to you know like less lean to a bit chubby etc so I'll be throwing some bacon into this wrap and then adding some chicken from last night as well that's like about 200 grams of just chicken thigh so yeah wrap it up in here and then pop it into my mouth eat it and get back to study gyms are around like let's say maybe 6 p.m tonight i usually eat lunch about like say 12 and i eat dinner at 8 so the whole intermittent fasting thing but i could not sort of wait for that because you know i am really starving so i've thrown in the um, bacon and the chicken into the wrap already put in a bit of a, some sweet and sweet chili sauce as well but I'm pretty sure I'm getting to that point where I don't really like the wraps as much. Like at the start, I was always like keen to get, get the wraps, always like running home, trying to get the wraps in. But right now, I kind of miss rice and rice is like sitting there. It's been like two days since I've touched this rice and I might actually have to eat it pretty soon because, you know, rice does go bad as well, I think. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to check it out. Hey Google, what's the temperature right now? In McGregor, it's currently 26. So yeah, you guys literally just heard that. It is 26 degrees right now. It is so hot in Brisbane. Like, you know, like yesterday, I think it was only like 14 degrees. So it's not too bad. Like everything was cruising pretty well fine. And then after that today, it has to get so hot. Like, 
Yeah, sure, I'm only usually wearing one layer of clothing anyway, but I have never experienced heat that could actually induce a headache. Like, I am this close to getting a headache. It hasn't come on yet, but I'm pretty sure that it might come on at any moment now. I've got my ice water ready, so I'm smashing that down, but I think I'm just gonna lie down in bed completely still, try to get all that heat dissipated from my skin, and then get back to study later, because it's hot. And the issue is, they actually ripped out the um, air conditioning unit in this room, like the owners of the house, so I literally cannot have any air conditioning as well. But 26 degrees only in like what? Spring? That's pretty shocking. Brisbane's not a good weather place for like anything. So if you look right up there, that's actually where the air conditioning unit used to be. One like one, but the moment I moved and it was still there and I was like, all right, that's all chill. I'll turn it on like when I get home another day. As soon as I leave for a holiday, it just disappears. There's this little patch of ugly ass like thing on the wall and there's no air conditioner left. Here's my ice water. I'm just trying to down it, but you know, it's getting really little. I'm running out and you know, as soon as this is over, it's like the fuel to my, to my metaphorical tank of studying. And I've just got all the stuff that I got to study for like um, a little prac exam on Friday, coming fr this coming Friday, before I can actually fully go into holiday mode. Like, although this is actually the holiday, like this week was meant to be the holiday, I've just been spending most of my time actually just studying all of this stuff. Because, you know, they decided to pl place just one single exam after the holidays, which is a pretty shocking thing to do, honestly. But yeah, so I've just got to study this, finish this off, and then I'll like, do my exam on Friday, and then possibly head up to the Gold Coast for a, you know, beach vlog or whatever. So it's only there's been an insane change of weather, like it was 26 before, but right now it's 21 and it's going to rain as well, which is pretty shocking. It's cold outside now, it's much colder than inside my room actually, because the air hasn't actually flowed into the house yet, so I'm just chilling outside in the front yard. Now look at that, look at the sky. Oh yeah, look at how dark the sky is. And right now we're just testing out the bokeh effects of the this lens so you see how you can like really get into the focus of the leaves so I've got my um, bag ready just waiting for Clinton to pop by I'm gonna actually wait outside and see whether he's here yet but yeah look at how big the fucking lens is goodness me all right time to head off literally right now it is 6 54 p.m. and I'm standing out here with no sight of Clinton whatsoever just waiting with my huge ass lens, just carrying it around, looking like, looking like an idiot to everyone that's passing me by. That's definitely not Clinton, but right now it's the darkest scene out. Clinton's not even here remotely anywhere. The only light source is that one up there. I am feeling extremely scared, so I'm going to be filming this to make sure that if anyone finds this SD card, you're going to be finding some drone shots. Oh, that's Clinton. Well, let's scratch whatever I just said before. We're going to gym. How much, how much did you feel up for your fault? Ooh. I don't that, I know, that lightning's fucking the same, bro, it's so scary. What is going on it's today? Like 15 bucks, but also the fuck is bro. What a retard. But yeah, nah, that lightning was fucking insane, bro. First time I saw it, I was so scared. Just now, Look yeah. Look at that shit. That, <laughs> we are living in a de This is Stranger Things level shit, bro. That's the thing, I can't actually hear it, though. Yeah, gym should be fucking empty right now. Because everyone's at River Fire. Yeah, it should be like, really... Do heaps of Brisbane kids go to Real Fire? Yeah, man. Really? Big thing. Especially if you're Asian. What a weird time to be waiting for Richard. It's like 7 p.m. What the fuck? But at least he got me a job, so I have to do this favor. <laughs> <laughs> Storm, like, Dude, who's that? Yeah, one of my I did. I was walking home and I looked at the lightning. I was like, oh, far out. Clinton, walk us through your haircuts. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Remember that place where the um they fucked my hair up? No, 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 the one next door. The one she asked you about your like driver's license and shit. Oh, that usual place. Yeah. How much was it though? Fifteen. It looks good though. Hey, I like it. Been going there for like five years, bro. Whoa. Tell me how you like making them up. 
While I've arrived at the toilet, I'd just like to talk about how crazy the toilet is. So you're walking in, you get two mirrors on each side. So basically you're looking at what you're, you've got this side, and then you've got this side as well, and you're just looking at yourself, blah, blah, blah. The lighting's not that great though. Like they've got really dim lights. There's a TV in the locker room, and this is like where all the showers are. So the TV's right there, you're sitting there. No one really sits here though, because it's like a bit humid, because of the showers and everything, but there's lockers everywhere on there. And basically a chill session here, I could study, probably not. But there's a mirror here as well. This mirror's got a bit better lighting, but you know, as usual, not bright enough to be getting any sort of good cinematic shots. You've got another mirror there outside the fucking locker. And yeah, most people don't even come in here because you know, they just go to the gym and they work out and done. I reckon if they upgraded all these lights on top and made them really bright, especially these ones across the mirrors, they'd be aesthetic as hell. After office? Yeah, no, when we're, um, after I start working at the office. And, and you think you're getting fat from working at the office? Yeah. If you look at it, exactly the same to me, bro. If not, better. It was cold as fuck before. This is a nice Lexus. It's for a while. It's got hidden cameras. I've got, I've got a Canon camera in my uh, room right now. Yeah, it's going to fall, I'm not going to lie. It is going to fall, isn't it? Huh? I'm getting ready to catch it. I think about catching mine for like just 300 bucks and just throw it away. Wow. I don't think anybody would buy it, this issue. Wow, this buff is going to send it. It's not sent yet, Clinton. Oh, we'll see. Oh, fuck, no, you're going to tell me. Oh, man. I'll fucking see for a bit. Whoa, Clinton, this is like out of a movie, like those really dark movies. Have you seen Nightcrawler? I have, it was very disturbing. <laughs> yeah, so this is like right now, you're the Nightcrawler and I'm, I'm the guy... We're searching, we're the, on the prowl. Yes. <laughs> Bye, Richard. <laughs> what the fuck do you forget? Oh my god. <laughs> what do you forget? You forget his shit in his car. Forget my what? No oh, way, Jose. Alright, Richard, I'll see you Thursday. Yeah, what Thursday? Yeah, for class. Oh yeah, fair enough. I'll Later, Richard. I'll see you guys later. And he's off. Bye, Clinton. Goodbye. Actually cooked my minced beef beforehand already. So, right now, all I really need to do is actually take a shower. And then after that, get the wrap out, throw it into the microwave, eat it, go back to study if I want to study. But besides that, that's probably the day is over. I don't even know if it's at home. Scary, but yeah, we'll see what comes next or this might be the end of the video.